Virgos, what's goody in the hoodie? It's your girl here, <laughs> Miss Hawaii. Welcome to your general love reading for February 23rd of 2023. It's good to see y'all. What's going on with y'all? Some of y'all are Virgo moons. Okay. Shout out to my Virgo moons that's in the house. It says intelligent, helpful, reliable, and determined. Sincere, analytical, and honest. Qualities of Virgo moon are intelligence, responsibility, and communication. Then you got the 11th house here. Oh, the 11th house, the house of hopes and wishes. Some of y'all are dealing with uh, an Aquarius. Okay. A lot of y'all are trying to be famous. A lot of y'all trying to be famous. Second house here. A lot of my Virgos, y'all trying to be famous with the 11th house card in the second house, which is the your house of values. Okay. Taurus energy as well. Hmm. Some of y'all, a lot of y'all want to be famous. That can happen. You just got to put in the hard work. Neptune. Some of y'all want to deal with the, um, this is telling me a lot about your career. Some of y'all want to deal with the metaphysical. A lot of y'all got Neptune placement. Like you got a lot of Pisces in your chart. Aquarius ascendants. We got some Aquarian ascendants out here. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius ascendant. Or some of y'all talking to somebody who's a Virgo moon. The fifth house. Somebody might be pregnant too with the fifth house. The house of pleasures and creativity. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. You also got Capricorn energy here with Saturn here. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's see what comes out in this deck. These are my two new decks I got today, so I'm excited to use them if you can't tell. Whoa. Okay. What hit the floor? South node destined to release. Oh, shoot, Virgo. Your south node. Yeah, that has to do with your past life. Switching from your, because the south node is about you switching from, you know, the things you did in your past to what's new, right? See, north node. Uh-huh. This is what you're this is what you're supposed to focus on now, your north node, what you're destined to have. So a lot of y'all need to look into your birth chart, Virgos, look at your past life, your south node, and check out your north node. See what you're supposed to be doing, because that's your purpose. A lot of y'all dealing with a Capricorn, or you got a lot of Capricorn in your chart. It says Saturn, feel restricted, experience struggle, learn hard work and patience. And then you got house seven. That's your house of relationships, intimacy, romantic partnerships, Aquarius energy and Pisces energy, originality, progressive imaginations, intimacy, intuition, and compassion, philanthropy. Okay. Hey, playing two pop, playing two pop, playing two pop. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> How y'all doing up in here? It's good to see y'all, Virgos. How y'all doing? I hope y'all feeling well tonight or today, whenever you watch this. Hope you're blessed, your loved ones, and your pets are well. Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. If it's your first time here, if you're coming back, welcome back. It's good to see you again, baby, baby. Don't forget to hit that like button now. Don't just be in here being a window shopper. You mad at me? I don't know why. Make sure you hit that like button. Don't be up in here window shopping. You feel me? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You feel me? Tell a friend. Share. Share my content. Tell the world. Ooh, some of y'all dealing with a younger person. Somebody who's very youthful. Could be somebody who's, uh, that's my card, or somebody who works in the uh, uh, athlete, pro uh, athlete, be a professional athlete, sports industry. That's what I meant to say. I was about to say the athlete industry. What the hell? Friendship. Ooh, some one of your friends like you. One of your friends got a crush on you. We going to come back to that. Long distance. Some of y'all dealing with somebody in a long distance connection, Virgo. Could be somebody who lives at a distance from you. Could be in another state, another country, another city. Oh, whoever you're dealing with, they are gorgeous. Very attractive person, a lot of you. But a lot of you that are the feminine energy, that's how this person sees you. They see you as the beauty queen. If you're the feminine energy, it says on stage, shining, adored. Okay. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who gets a lot of attention. Maybe they have a lot of, uh, I just heard 
followers. They can be very popular online. Influencer, I just heard. Okay, some of y'all, it could just be a friendship thing right now for many of you. But I feel like for a lot of you, you got a friend that's interested on, in you. On the bottom here, you got fun times. Okay, it says parties, events, having fun. Show me this friend that's interested in you. This isn't going to be for all of you, but let's see, Virgo. There's somebody in your friend circle. Who is it? Family. Oh, shoot. It's somebody you consider to be real close to you. Yeah, with family, it says uh, origin soul family group. This is somebody that really rock with you. Like, this ain't just a friend. Somebody you know from high school. No, this is somebody that you rock with. Like, this is somebody you consider to be family. Hello, I'm talking to you, Virgo. Let me get another card on that friend. You got a friend that's filling the kid. <laughs> Freedom. This person is single too, whoever they are. It says casual being single, lightness. Could be an older woman or an older man, very mature person. Whoever they are, they filling you. It's somebody in your friend circle. And it could be somebody that either your family, like a family friend, or somebody you consider to be family. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Woo, I love y'all. All right, let's get into the tarot. Like how I said that, the tarot, not the tarot. So I heard, I heard the reader say the tarot. What the tarot's got to say. I was like, she just said carrot with a T. <laughs> I said, oh, shoot. She said the tarot. I'm like, how are you going to be reading the card, sis, and you don't even know how to pronounce it? You want a carrot with that? Want a carrot with the tarot? <laughs> hey! All right, let's see. What's the overall energy? <laughs> what's the overall energy? Hey! What's going on up in here? All right. <laughs> Whoa, what just flipped out? The five of swords in reverse. Ooh, that tried to really come out aggressively. What's the overall energy around my Virgos in love? That just flew out. The chariot and the king of pentacles in reverse. With the eight of wands. <laughs> Communication, travel for some of y'all. A lot of travel. Eight of wands and the chariot. That's movement, baby. But king of pentacles is in reverse. I don't know if that's you or if that's an earth sign you're dealing with. Could be another Virgo, a Taurus, a Capricorn. The devil! <laughs> and look at the devil in this deck. He looked mean. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Uh-oh. Now we got a matching pair here. Both of y'all in reverse. Something could be going on with money for some of y'all. The devil. Okay, that's not good. Okay. What else is the overall energy? The Nine of Swords in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse on the bottom. Something you were stressed about, you're not stressed about anymore, some of you. You were stressed, you were losing sleep, some of you, over a situation here in love. But I feel like that's come to an, that's come to an end. Five of Wands in reverse is like, I don't want no drama. I'm trying to stay away from anybody that's trying to bring drama. But you still got the big fat devil here. So I don't know. We got to clarify that. Ace of Swords is the sword of truth. You could have got some type of spiritual download from the universe about this person. The Ace of Swords is usually like something that ding on you like, oh, but it's coming straight from your spirit, guys. You know what I mean? Like, because the moon is in reverse. Cancer energy, Pisces energy. So I feel like whoever this is, something was revealed to you about this person. Boo -boo. Let me see. Why the King of Pentacles in reverse? Why are you seeing this person? As the king of pentacles in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Why? Oh, the queen of cups in reverse. With the eight of swords. Oh my gosh. Somebody been stressing thinking about you. You try not to stress about this person. Meanwhile, they stressing about you. Queen of cups in reverse. Let me see the chariot. Your person's acting emotionally closed off. The four of pentacles. Some of y'all, something happened with money, even a car possibly. That's a very small portion of you. 
the eight of cups in reverse, the star. You're not walking away from this person, whoever this is. Could be an Aquarius. You want this. You're holding on to this. You feel like whatever y'all went through, the chariot means you guys can get through this. You feel that way. Eight of cups is in reverse. Maybe you tried to walk away and your ass ain't going nowhere. Queen of Wands, still a lot of passion for this person. Show me the devil. Why is the devil here though? That's what I don't get. Some of y'all, there's some addiction here or this person could have some addictions for some of you. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Three of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Swords. Ooh. You saw something. This person did something to you. Mm -mm. Damn. They did something. They did something sneaky here. Yeah. Something was, yeah. Seven of Swords. They did something. That's my deceit card. Sneaky, mistrustful, cheating. Lying. Think about the seven of swords too. It doesn't have to always mean like somebody's actually doing any of those things. They could just be acting like it. And it's like, why are you acting so shady? Let me see the nine of swords in reverse. This person, some of y'all think this person playing mind games with you. And you like, I'm not about to let this person have me caught up. Mm -mm. I do see communication, a lot of communication. Let me see the moon in reverse. What was revealed to you? The two of cups. Some of y'all in an interracial thing with the justice in reverse. And the four of wands. Some of y'all are in a relationship with this person and you found out this person did you wrong. With the justice in reverse. You found out this person did something wrong here, but I feel like whatever it is, you still feel this two of cups with them. You still feel this soulmate connection. Why the Ace of Swords? Ten of Wands. Gone is playing by NSYNC. Gone? You do not want to be stressed about this. You really don't. You're trying to really keep your cool here with the King of Swords. You're trying to be really cool. But Ten of Wands, Lovers in Reverse, this is a lot on you. Whoever this is, this is a lot on you. Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Some of y'all feel like you're the only one putting in effort here. Whoever this is, you feel like you're the one carrying the weight. If you're in a relationship with this person, you feel like you're the one that got the money. You're the one that's bringing the stability. Some of y'all think this person is cheap or this person act like they don't have no money. Some of y'all, they not acting. But you feel like you're the one that's really holding the weight in this connection. I got to be honest with you. The death card is here. Scorpio energy. That's about endings. Endings, new beginnings, transformation. Why the death card? The Ten of Swords. Ooh, some of y'all, something did happen here that made you feel like this is over. It's It ended. Why? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I'm telling you, I keep seeing something about money. Ooh, because with that justice in reverse, a small portion of you, something could have happened with the justice system. Let's look individually. A lot of in sync playing. A lot of y'all been rocking in sync. Somebody's been rocking in sync. Don't look at me like that. I love in sync because all my in sync, this is on shuffle, and they done played like three in sync songs already. You want it? Here's my heart. Make sure y'all hit that like button. <laughs> If y'all want a personal reading, holla at your girl, Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. We will get you booked. All right. I'm on Instagram, Miss Hawaii Tarot. Virgos, if y'all want to be friends on there, holla at your girl on there. Shout out to all my members. Like how I said that? I love y'all. I love my members. I hit a member. I forget how many members it says I have, but I, this is the most I've ever had. So I'm excited about that. And I feel like we'll just keep going up and up. And I want to welcome all the new members. Thank you to everybody. All the new members and all the members that's been rocking with me since day one. All my OGs, triple OG members. Thank y'all. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What can you expect from this person in the future? Don't forget we're doing an extended read after this. If you would like to join me there, the link is below in the description box. What feelings do you have towards this person, Virgo? What, what are the feelings you have? 
for this person? What are the feelings that Virgo has for this person? Damn, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Ooh, the Six of Swords. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Some of y'all about to give up on this. <laughs> Yeah, look, the star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Some of y'all feel like you're losing hope in this. Some of y'all have lost trust in this person. And once you lose trust, you already know, man. It's clipped. It's clipped from that point on. In my opinion, because I, I can't even, how am I going to be with you if I can't trust you? Me personally, no, I already got trust issues. So there's no way I'm going to be able to sleep in a bed with you and deal with you and have sex with you. You know what I mean? So let's see. What feelings does this person have for you? Because some of y'all seeing this person as having an attitude problem, the Knight of Wands in reverse. That could be somebody who's kind of in and out, who's not even consistent at all. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. The Three of Cups. I see them wanting to be around you. There's that five of wands in reverse, that energy of not wanting no drama. So this was coming from them, huh? The world. Some of y'all, this person could have just ended something. The king of swords. Oof, this person act real cold. This person could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Y'all mutual energy is the high priestess, Virgo. I ain't got time for you and this person today with the five of swords. You and this person both playing mind games with each other. Don't look at me like that. Let's break the rules. That's what it seemed like. I'm going to be honest with you. But the high priestess is like both of y'all, the high priestess, it's like y'all both not even being honest with each other. Y'all both keeping things from each other. Because I see this situation weighing heavily on both of your minds. But I feel like you're, I don't know if you're both communicating with one another. Let me see the Knight of Wands in reverse. My, you want me. Mm -hmm. The Hermit, that's your energy. <laughs> Some of y'all don't pull back completely. Some of y'all don't pull back completely. This is your energy. Hello? Some of y'all could be dealing with another Virgo. Let me see the six of wands. The ace of cups. Oh, shoot. Some of y'all may be trying to move on to new love. I'm going to be honest with you. Some of y'all like, you know what? Let me see the seven of wands in reverse. This person got you thinking about a lot of things in hermit mode. The eight of wands. I see a lot of communication. A lot of things are moving fast in your love life. Let me see the star in reverse changing quickly. For a lot of you, let me see the star in reverse. What made you lose hope or lose trust? The judgment. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Some of y'all, it was a third party situation. Okay, but with the judgment card, I feel like this is you realizing a lot. Didn't I say you've been thinking a lot with the hermit card? That's you. You've been thinking a lot. Mm -hmm. Judgment is about, you know what I mean? Some, some people always think, you know, the judgment is just about, oh, somebody want to be with you again, a second chance. That's not always what judgment means. Judgment is about a self-renewal. It's about an awakening. It's about becoming, you know, about making a big decision, really discovering something. It doesn't always mean that you want to keep dealing with the person again. You know what I mean? So I feel like some of you guys are like, listen, I'm at a point here, judgment, like, you're thinking about what, how this person has treated you. You're thinking about how you've treated yourself. What's in this person's subconscious in regards to the way they feel about you? I want to see what's in their subconscious. We're going to look at the In the Shadows Oracle card messages. All right. We'll go ahead and reveal these in the extended Virgo. If you would like to join me there, there is a link below where you can click on it and it will take you to Vimeo. And there we will do the extended read for your person. In the extended, we're going to clarify their current energy which is the Three of Cups, 
the five of wands in reverse, the world and the king of swords. Okay. We'll clarify their current energy. Then we'll look at their future actions to see what you can expect from this person moving forward in the future. Okay. And overall in love. Then we'll go ahead and uh, pull you some advice cards to see what the universe feels like you should do moving forward in love and overall with this person. All right. So we have fun in the extendeds. I get to curse because <laughs> I can't curse anymore on YouTube, but I love you guys. Thanks for all your continuous support. Again, if you want a personal reading, email Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com. I love you members. Thanks for all the members out there. Thank you to anybody who's donated to the channel, ever purchased a super chat question, any of that stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love all you guys and I will see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time. Be blessed. Be well. Take care. Be strong and tell somebody you love them. Bye. <laughs>